What's up everyone, Trent here. Along with Julia. Welcome back to the channel and we're checking out the third episode of Echo after last episode where we saw the train heist where yes. Maya is attacking Fist Enterprises and Henry warns her that there is a war coming and that it's going to hurt the people close to her who yep. are starting to learn that she's back in Tamaha, particularly Bonnie and Chula. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's going to be interesting. And the connection to the ancestors that we're yes. slowly starting to see revealed in her powers. The powers coming through. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. Really Let's check cool. it out. Let's go. So we're in the, in the West. Mm. Light horseman. I love the creative choice to have it in black and white with that uh, aspect ratio. Mm. Bang! <laughs> Mighty force all on her. Yeah, fair. This is who I am. I like the contrast with the 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 statement. Followed by her action, mm. like the defiance. Bandits. Already dead? It's a trap. Yep. Yep. Oh. Glowing hands. Mm. So I wonder if we're going to get more explanation on the, the power that the, the pool connection. had. <laughs> nice touch to add sound there. Nice touch. Good creative choice. Yeah. Nice introduction as well. Again, as we said, like last episode, the linking and the correlations yeah. into the past. When she finds out Scully knows. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me that look. I'll leave it to you too, Chola. To me, Chuck Ma. I'm just fine. Why don't we uh, go into my office and find you in the bottle? Cut the crap. I didn't come here to get leg humped by some old rest dog like you. God, you used to <laughs> melt like butter when I talk Indian to you. <laughs> that was a long time ago. Long time ago. It doesn't have to be like that now. <laughs> my husband's back. Complete change. Yeah. Oh. yeah, I thought that might have something to do with it. <laughs> come on in. Coming in. I'll show you the new leg I'm working on for her. Yeah. I already knew. You're the last yeah. to know. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? This gets near total my truck doing who knows what. He's covering for Maya. She's bringing trouble with her. But now Biscuits is caught up in it. Poor Biscuits. Mm. She's too much like her father. You don't know that. You don't even know her. And you do? You haven't seen her any more than I have in the last 20 years. There's a realization. Oh, really? Oh. What's she up to then? <laughs> it's not for me to say. Why don't you ask her? You know, you two are exactly alike. We are not alike. Everything I've done has been to protect my family. 
However much it hurt. You lost your daughter. Why don't you just swallow your pride before you lose your granddaughter, too? Mm -hmm. I can't talk to her now. It's interesting because Maya sees it as she's protecting her family as well. Mm. Well, maybe you shouldn't talk to her. Maybe you should just listen for once. Voice of Reason Scully. Yeah. Don't disappoint me, Vicky. Your intel won't be worth jack shit if she's gone. Ooh. Zane, I promise you, man, Maya's here. We're still a few hours out tonight. Oh, they're I coming. Wait for my call. Oh, Vicky, oh, no. you jerk. And you're not gonna wait. You can be an idiot. Yep. Ooh. Scared? I will babysit her since you two are too chicken shit. Oh no. Oh no, Bonnie. No, Bonnie. Hello? Mm. Shut up. Shut up. Uncle Henry? How did they not check the perimeter? <laughs> right. <laughs> Uncle Henry? Silence. Mm. Hey. Hey, I tried the front. Yeah, oh, sorry. no. Uh, not a good time. Pretty busy. Mm. Oh, well, I won't take very long. I I just have some questions I want to ask. Uh, nice. Nice. Signal nice. The ring's been um, audited by the IRS, and I'm just swimming in paperwork. Hmm. Nice. Yeah. Yikes, the IRS. Is there anything I can do? No, no, no. I'm good. Oh, don't be too obvious. I'll leave you to it. Appreciate it. Night, right, Bonnie. Clever by both. Hmm. Vicky to use him as a decoy and the signals. Did you know she was coming around? Uh -huh. More people coming around here? Go. You should have locked the door. Yeah. <laughs> should have potentially turned off all the lights. <laughs> yeah. Gonna call for backup. Dispatch. Dispatch. I was gonna say she was very much aware. She got out there quick though. Oh, not the oh. circumstances they'd want to meet. <laughs> the demeanor change in Maya yeah. though. Even without signing, their expression and communication said everything. Mm. No, got to talk. Oh. 
Come on, Vicky. Let me smooth things out with Maya. Tell her it was a misunderstanding. That way, if you leave now... You don't die. You got nothing to worry about. <laughs> Only person with anything to worry about is her. Oh. What did you do? Oh, oh dear. No. Maya brought this on herself coming home. All I did was accelerate the process. Oh, you what did you do? Yep, you fool. Yeah, well, here's the thing, Henry. I ain't taking orders no more. It's still a chance for you to get out of this alive. Mm. <laughs> you really think he's gonna pay you and then just let you walk out of here? How do, how do you not pay someone a bounty? Oh, here's the bounty. Boop. Her zip ties told you I heard something. Whoa, 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 don't shoot her. If she's dead when they get here, we ain't gonna pay. Hey, guns <laughs> down. I can talk to her. Please. Turn down, Grace. Come on. Grace is a bit crazy. Grace is. Let him do the tying. Is no one going to take the phone off her? No, no, get that. Go. What is she saying to her? We kick. Oh. <laughs> now she can do all the badass stuff. Yep. Without distraction. They're here. I was gonna say, you know the rumors about her, and you've left her in yeah. a area where she can do stuff. Oh, barbarians! Yeah, do stuff and do damage. Yeah. You're the guy then. Yeah, I'm the guy. Yeah. Vicky. Vicky. Nice to see your face at last. I guess we come a very long way. So uh, for your sake, I hope the information you've been texting is legit. Mm. I don't like being played with. Vicky. Guaranteed, it's the real deal. Mm -hmm. Assuming you brought that money. Oh, no. We got protocols, right? Oh. I uh, keep some money safe while mm. I assess the situation. I validate. Yeah. You don't look like walking with the money, do you? Of course not. Oh, you yeah, idiot. Yeah. You have no idea how any of this works, Vicky. I know, boys. He's here somewhere. Now, I was thinking you'd show me that money first to make sure it's all there. Like, I need to know that you have it. The, contemplate how many men they just walked in with mm -hmm. for her and how screwed you are. Yeah. They didn't treat him like the big boy you expected. No. Nope. Is she making them nice? <laughs> Ding! Yep. That's gonna hurt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Lights out. Oh, laser. Nice. <laughs> oh. Oh, that'd be so hot too. You could Where barely, you, you couldn't catch a phone. You got no chance. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh. You grab the money and then. Vicky. Oh, Vicky, shut up. The hell, man. I'm supposed to be making a deal, not giving them the grand tour. Can you let me handle this, Grace? Looks like you're letting this guy handle it. What's up, kitty cat? Ah, <laughs> uh, looky, looky. Is that Henry Black Crow Lopez? Let me talk. It'll be okay. Oh, you get jammed up like this. You got something to spill? Huh? Where's that niece of yours, huh? By a Lopez. Lopez who blew up the armory. We're actually not at liberty to say until we get our money. Oh. I'm so tired of all this yapping. You are, you're pushing it. <gasps> <laughs> I'm gonna go check on something. Yeah. Yeah, you do that. Fact, she probably needs a hand with that, so I'm gonna head oh, out. Oh, don't. Right. Was something wrong? No. <laughs> what? Maybe. Yeah, everything's hunky dory. So, how about let's all go out and you show me that money? <sighs> you catch that, brothers? Think he wants to go out. Oh. Take him out. What'd you expect? What did you, get? What did you expect? Oh. oh. <laughs> Thanks again, Vicky, for the odd tip. Oh. Would have been nice if she were, you know, here. 
You're the one who's going to give me the answers to my question. Mm. Where is Maya Lopez? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I am in the back of my dragon. Oh, God! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got some Rob Zombie going! <laughs> he knows what's gonna happen. Yep. He's just like. Henry's loving it! Yeah. And what a setting! The neon glow! Woo! Ooh! <laughs> 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 this is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Oh. oh! Nice. Loving those um, transitions. Mm. Oh! Nice. N nice. Oh, German suplex! Suplex City. <laughs> oh, Myers kicking ass! Oh! oh. Lekla. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. nice. Ah. Oh, they would hurt. Oh. <laughs> Anyone picking him up would know. <laughs> Zane's not an idiot. No. We need more fights in arcades. Yes. <laughs> and roller we do. skate rinks. Saved by the phone. Aye? Aye? Well, you're scared thought... of the ringtone. Yeah, I understand. I... I'm sorry, I... Let me just... Mm -hmm. He's awake. Mm -hmm. Complete demeanor change. The big man wants you. Yep. Let's go! That shook him right up. Yeah. Yeah. That's even more terrifying that Fisk wants you alive. Yeah, definitely. Because it's... No, 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 no. He will deal with you, yeah. but on his own time. I'm not going to do anything. <laughs> hmm. They'll come after her then. Mm. I love how much emotion can be conveyed through signing through the ferocity of the signs. Mm. Which part? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Part where we were kidnapped by the guy who cleans my skates. <laughs> or the part where we almost die. <laughs> mm hmm. Yep. There's. Only one person, person. Who could have. Yep. Mm -hmm. He's alive. The music. Yep. Doesn't mean he's dead. Thanks. 
caught up to us both. If the offer still stands, I'm helping you. Aww. Aww. Go, Henry. Sorry, all your skates have lost their ball bearings. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. <laughs> you uh, don't uh, like it. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you uh, live in New York. You represent your people. Hmm. That means uh, Chakta Tushka is on the scene if you uh, don't, you don't like, uh, it. <laughs> like it I could uh, paint it matte black I like that the etchings look like the braids mm. you uh, won't go see her Her heart was broken when you mm. left. It wasn't she... her choice. They are very similar, mm. aren't they? Maya did the same with Maya Bonnie. Maya did the same with Bonnie, yeah. I guess we all do things we wish were different. Mm. Nice. No. She got funny good. Mm. Oh, showing it off with prop. She's doing the right thing. She's seen her. I don't think so. I think she's going to be there. Yep. Oh. oh! Oh! Is he really there? He is? I thought I thought it was going to be a, a fear like, response, and yeah. it was a he's back. No, call off, calling off his uh, calling off his men to come get her. In, yeah, to, to come get her in person. Yeah, <laughs> not the person I was expecting not, there. No, not the, not the person I was expecting at oh. all. It's a really nice turn, but it's it's kind of sitting there and it's wondering like, what is his. Motives Motive. for it. So, is it a motive of, well done, you tried to kill me. I'm very impressed with you. Now, work for me so I don't kill you. Well, or is it just, a, no, this is my revenge? Well, and see, no one else's. I, I don't think it's going to be revenge per se. I think it's going to be a, it's going to be an ultimatum. Yeah, oh, where definitely. where he's going to he's going to um kind of go to the family, the, the connection that they mm. had. Realizing that she is incredibly resilient and determined, and is attacking his empire, which we had seen in Hawkeye was not mm. the strongest that it once was. So he doesn't need another thorn in his side along with the devil. Yeah. Um. So I th I think it's going to be trying to uh, reach out to her need for a family or want for a family and their connection and their history, mm. and trying get her under his wing again yeah. and kind of control her but oh. make it seem like it make it seem like it's her choice and yeah I was I, can, I was wrong to doubt you Maya. But, but this is the thing I can see it completely backfiring in his own weakness at the moment being you know shot in the freaking head where something lets slip which turns Maya nuclear yeah and whether it be a he's responsible for her mum's death with the break cuts 
and the control on her father, the he's been influencing her for such a long yeah. time, and then just watching that implode because I I do not know, I do like what do you do? Yeah, the the man you thought is was dead is standing now right in front of you in your hometown at your well, house. Well, that's 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 totally something Fisk could do. Yeah, like we've seen we've seen it throughout the entire Daredevil series where he he literally sets people up. To take the like to take the fall. Yep. He got himself shanked in prison. He and like and put it on a, an entire different gang and organization. Mm. Yep. Like he's he's so manipulative. So I would not put it past him at all. What I what I will think is that he he comes to her with the you know welcome back in, mm. but he will then go after her family. Yes. Which will then set her against him again. So yep. she will be of two minds for it. Again, walking between two worlds. Yeah. Yeah. But I can I can definitely see him trying to coax her back in and um, lure her back in with all this kindness and mm. connect, wanting connection and connection that. But then and the, I'm erasing sorry, the other connection un- that she has. I understand has. why you did this. We're family. Yeah. That families kind of, fight. Yeah, that <laughs> that kind of manipulation. Yeah, through manipulating it. But a big he's, time. That phone call. That scene, right. That that pure right? fear. That came across his face when he heard to to have your boss have a specific ringtone, and then to hear that ringtone yeah. to have that fear and everyone else know who that ringtone is. Yep, no questions asked. No we're questions. Going. We're going. No questions asked. Straight yep. out. But he's Zane. Every time we've seen Zane so far, he's been this cocky, mm. you know, arrogant, not playful, but just very. Um, I don't know the word to describe it. Bobbish. Cocky. Cock- cocky. Yeah, it's a cocky. cocky. It's a, uh, I've made it this far yeah. by doing- I basically do whatever the hell, hell I want. I want. Yeah. yeah. And the way he was toying with Vicky oh, the entire Vicky, time. Vicky, Vicky. Vicky, you fool. Vicky, you fool. Um, but seeing his his entire action from when he's in the warehouse be- mm. before it got blown up to in the roller skate rink before, you know, Myra attacked. Even after Myra attacked, he still had Bonnie and he was the cocky, mm. he was incredibly cocky and knew he had the upper hand. But then that completely switched and he kind of turned into a little... <laughs> yeah, yeah watching the... little ball of anxiety yep. coming out. But, th- yeah, they do such a good job of selling Fisk when he's not there. Yes. Such a good job. Even if you haven't seen Daredevil, if you haven't seen Hawkeye and you don't know anything about Kingpin, you know this guy is a... Big bad deal. Yes, definitely. you know that he is the head honcho. He is, yeah. And the fact that everyone fears him, even Henry. Mm. Like you saw Henry talking about it. No, we we did everything fine. I'm going to be one that takes the book uh, takes the blame for it. Mm. Um, we don't want the war coming here because they know what Fisk is like, and yeah. the, war, the 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 epitome of the war is on the doorstep. Yeah, like. Com- that that ending was completely different to what I thought was going to be, because I thought it was going to be a connection with Chula. Yeah, I thought it was going to be yeah. similar to what we've seen with the rest, where it links back to to the history and the growth and connection that she's having. And I guess this is part of her story and a major part mm. of her story as well that does need to be explored a lot more. So it'll be interesting to see what the next... Because, what, we've got two episodes Two episodes left. to go, yeah. So if we go back to now, if we are up to that point of it is her history with mm. this power and the linkage through heritage and the warriors. Yeah, well, she's definitely building up the connection and she's building it up through the... Well, us being introduced to the... Um, to the ancestors, mm. which great start to the yeah. episode. Very creative to have it in that aspect ratio with the yeah. black and white grainy of the of the old time westerns in. Um, I, th- I think it's called the frontier, um, the frontier period, mm. the 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 old west, old west, yeah. Um, and the light horsemen and and their role going after the going after the um, the bandits, but just learning through that little bits of um, Choctaw culture, mm. you know the the roles that women and men had the men were the uh, life takers the women were life givers mm. the braiding of the hair oh, signifying the Choctaw warrior the hair and braiding. Yeah. yeah and and having the parallels um with uh Tuklo, um having that having that statement of you know the gender role and then mm. her doing the exact opposite of what that role was yeah and coming to a father's aid and then the sound coming back into it it was yeah. full silent silent movie with the onomatopoeia with a bang um of the of the silent movies mm. but then 
when she appeared with the gun, you hear the gunshots. You hear yeah. you hear her father do the cry out. The, the call. Yeah. yeah, the call. It was it was. I thought that was really subtly well done, hmm. and we're getting introductions to these these ancestors that obviously have the connection to Maya and her family, um, but there are parallels between their actions within the episode as well. Mm. When she's going for the, for the gunfight. When fight, she's doing the gunfight. That got the little scene, snippet. That scene, her fight scene was amazing. Yeah. The use of the arcade and I the love laser it. tag. And I love the it. Game we, need, we need more violent scenes in arcades. <laughs> using, the, using the guns as a guns, whip. Using the guns as a whip was amazing. Yeah. I did not see that bit coming. That was great. Yeah. And having Dragula play over the top. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. Bit overdone. Thunder Kiss would have been nice from right a white zombie, but um, yeah, it uh, was that was great. I'm I'm loving that they're getting the connection for, through the ancestors, and Maya is embracing it through not mm. only I, I think that's where we were going originally. You've got the ancestors, and we're learning about them, but also the connections to her family. Mm. Um, Scully making her her leg her new leg shield, yep. her new prosthetic, celebrating her culture, the yep. Choctaw culture. And, you know, having that piece of having that piece of her wearing wearing that piece of her culture and yeah. um, history, it's embracing it, which I think Scully has realized that there is the disconnect and he's yeah. encouraging her to 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 connect with her roots and to, to connect with um, to connect with her family and her yeah. culture more because that's obviously it what was, is going to help her. And it's definitely something that was taken away from her as well when they did move to New York. Yeah. When she moved, she she only had her father and she only had the family that they created through. And the, she lost and she lost the connection and to And she everyone. lost the connection to the rest of her family. Yes, it's yeah. sitting there. And then that beautiful parallel in that conversation they were having where it was the you should go talk to your grandmother. Well, she had her time to reach out to me and never did. And it's the exact same thing that she did with Bonnie. Exact same thing that she did with Bonnie. But it's also... I texted, I emailed, I sent everything, and you never did it back. But it's also she's also done it with her grandma as well. Exactly. She could have reached out, yes, but so could you, Maya. Mm. Like, it's it's both sides. Um, But, yeah, and I I think that's that's a nice little realisation that she had Mm. because you saw her... and, And... it's obvious why she's done it. She's done it to protect them from the the criminal underworld and, and protect the family. But mm. by cutting her off, it hasn't. By cutting everyone off, it hasn't helped because everyone's obviously worried and everyone wants to have the relationship with her. Mm. But it, it's it's nice seeing those relationships built up in in not real time, but as as the series are progressing, we're seeing the the connections. Like you had Biscuit being the Biscuits being the main connection, and yeah. and then Scully, and now Bonnie's back. Oh, and Henry can't, and Henry. can't dismiss Henry. Um, you, you had you had those connections, and then the big one, mm. her grandmother, is going to be the nice final um, final link. Final almost. link. Yeah. Um, to to I'm going to uh, make Maya go full full circle and and really embrace her culture and her heritage, mm. and um, use it to. Um, I'm just going to say go against Fisk. Yeah. Because there's no way he's coming out <laughs> on top here, or at least not not um, hurt a little bit. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's she's, go, she's going on a hero's journey with the crisis of identity. Yeah. And she needs to find her place. And it's playing on that theme of walking between two worlds. Mm. And it's it's that's symbolised through the family connection in the underworld, the connection to the ancestors, and um, being away from your culture and mm. not um, not celebrating it. There's there's a whole lot going on, but um, I really liked Henry's change in this. Yes, I did too. He he has been a really good kind of connection for Maya to bring into the New York trouble and also mm. ground her a bit in in the way that the others don't. Mm. The others are more. As Scully said, he keeps out of family business. Yeah. Whereas Henry is obviously very much ingrained in that. Yeah. He has the connection to Fisk and and the underworld, and he knows the the trouble that can come. Mm. And just when he's walking through the laser tag room, that big oh, smile that on his smile. face, he, no, knowing he knows he yeah. he knew exactly what she is capable of and what she would do to protect them. And I think that's why he was so he was so dismissive to say don't don't bring the war here because mm. he knows what she's capable of. Yeah. It's not the it. it, it a bit of the fear of the people the he loved getting hurt, yeah. but then also just the the fear of I know what you can do. Yeah. 
So it's it's really interesting. It was nice during those fight scenes as well to get the cutaway in between having the complete silence from my yes. perspective into then cutting into noise in fight. Yeah. Again, I wish they were kind of a little bit longer. Yes, I, I do. I do too. But I like the fact that it was that there were in this one in particular. There were some key moments where you had Vicky and the others mm. arguing. That was from Maya's perspective, yes. so you didn't know what Don't they were saying. What we're saying. You just no. had the you had the um. Their, their expression and body language, yeah. which was panic and we're in over our heads. Yes. But we got to do something. We got to. Yeah. We got to keep it here. We got to do that. Give me the money. Give me the money. They Ooh. were so stupid. Oh, they were so stupid. How? You don't lock the door. You don't zip tie her again. Like you had the most incompetent <laughs> person guarding her. But then the, I heard something. I'm going to walk in. Yeah. No, it's like horror movie 101, don't do it. Yeah. Oh, it's pitch black in here. Let's go deeper in. Oh, look. Oh, there's this, a laser on oh, me. Oh, look. This man has walked in with over a dozen goons. Where's my money? Where's my money? <laughs> Where's my money? I'm not going to show you Maya until I get my money. You fool. You fool. Vicky. <laughs> if, if, so for, for, for one person, they have brought a dozen people. What makes you think you're three? Is going to work here. I love the text message. Oh, the text message. Was- <laughs> XO. XO. Maya. I was, I was thinking XO, XO, Gossip Girl. <laughs> <laughs> but that was that was fun. That was a really fun episode. Hmm. Um, yeah, tell us your thoughts on episode three in the comments. I'm Trent. I'm Julia. And we'll be back with episode four soon. So tell us your thoughts and uh, keep it nerdy. Keep it nerdy. Yeah, I ruined that. <laughs> Destroyed that. <laughs> Bye. Bye.